Hey everyone, this is Kat with PinotSquirrel.com and welcome to today's video on how to appreciate wine. I've got my camera woman Liv back there. Hey everybody! And today we're just going to be covering some basic tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your wine. Uh, with that being said, there's no proper way to enjoy your wine. If you prefer your whites, maybe a little more towards room temp. If you prefer your reds, a little chillier, totally up to you. But this way, with um, some of the things we're going to be covering, you get, you know, more pronunciation on those aromas and flavors of your wine. So with that being said, let's begin. So what would be tip number one for us to enjoy our wine to its fullest extent? So tip number one, uh, I always like to tell, you know, customers in the restaurant um, who are looking at the wine list and they seem a bit intimidated by it. Don't be intimidated by wines that you haven't heard of before. Um, be willing to look outside the box, be open to different wines. Um, for example, I have here a Picpoul de Pinet. It's this one right here and it, this particular one is made in France. Um, a lot of people haven't heard of it, but you know, it's a, I recommend it. It's a very nice, neutral, you know, not too heavy on the acid. Um, beautiful with sushi, you know, sashimi, carpaccio. I would recommend this on a hot summer day, but you know, like I said, a lot of people haven't heard of it before. So be willing to just go outside the box and try new things. So going off of what I just said, if you don't like the wine that you try, you can always give it as a Christmas gift to someone you don't like. So <laughs> there's that as well. <laughs> That's very helpful. Right, so go ahead and share tip number two with us. All right, so tip number two, I would recommend drinking uh, your grape varietal out of the glass that was made for that grape varietal. So for example, I have a uh, champagne glass here, slash, you could use this for dessert wines, Rieslings, Gewurztraminers, uh, certain wines in front of us here. And I have a Chardonnay slash Pinot Noir glass. So we're just gonna conduct a little experiment. And I'm gonna need Liv's help here. She's gonna be my <laughs> sniffer. Okay. All right. Good old sniff. Hmm. All right. Okay. So, what difference do you see here? I feel like I can smell the wine more out of the small one. Is that weird? That's exactly it. So, actually, uh, the way that this glass is shaped, it goes out and then it goes back in. So this is why it's uh, better for certain varietals that don't have such a strong nose, such as a Chardonnay. It focuses more. Mm -hmm. into your nostrils. That makes sense. You know what I mean? <laughs> totally. So this one is more of a balloon shape, so you get more of that air dilution uh -huh. with it. Is dilution a word? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's good. So try it at home, you know, give it a shot. Pour one glass, pour one wine into two glasses, mm -hmm. and you will definitely notice a difference for sure. All right, what's the next tip for us? All right, so tip number three um, is about swirling. So I know everyone gets excited when they get that glass of wine poured in front of them. They just wanna grab it and drink it. Don't do that, hold your horses. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, there is something called a first nose and a second nose. So the first nose, when the glass first gets poured, is the nose that is not swirled. So you take a sniff and you can get those primary aromas mm -hmm. that, you know, come off straight off the bat. Mm -hmm. Then you swirl and it totally changes. You get secondary aromas. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a more uh, broad bouquet of aromas. And it's interesting, you know, it's um, to see like how the wine changes with just one swirl, just a little bit of aeration. Um, and it, of course, changes the taste, right, too? No, the taste, not so much. Oh, but you're just doing it just to kind of get those aromas first before you drink it. Well, the, it does change the taste, like, it, it it aerates it, so it does change the taste a little bit, but you're mainly doing this to get the aromas, Okay. the aromatic expression. Very good. So tip number four, 
Um, when you're enjoying a glass of wine, if you really want to appreciate it, you should definitely pair it with something to eat. You know, if it's just a little nibble or a meal, because food and wine, they're soulmates. And especially when, you know, you have certain foods that pair very well with a certain wine. So for example, you know, you're going to a friend's barbecue, bring a bottle of Shiraz, you know, it's great with barbecued foods. Or, you know, you're having a, a family dinner at home, you're making fish, chicken, pick a white wine, you know, go more on the light side, or a Pinot Noir. Or if you're having, you know, a roast lamb or something, you know, some gamey meat, pick a heavier red. So uh, we will get into discussion with that, you know, in a later video. But for example, this wine I have in front of me, the pig pool, I mean, what I wouldn't give to have a little bit of goat cheese and honey in front of me right now. Ooh, that you sounds know? good. So, you know, definitely if you want to get the most enjoyment out of your wine, it's best to have it with food. Tip number five, enjoy your wines with uh, friends, family, or if you're like me and you don't have friends, your dog or whoever you can find. Because, you know, it doesn't matter at the end of the day, the price of the bottle. If you're miserable and you're drinking a $300 bottle alone, I can almost guarantee that a $20 bottle, you know, when you're happy celebrating with friends, family is going to be better. So cheers to that. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you next time. Sante. Thank you.